Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you how I rip a DVD movie uh, to store it on my computer. Now, you must find out the laws in your country because some countries it is highly illegal to do this. Now, if you had a situation where you had a new DVD um, and you'd bought it for your children and you just want to make a copy of it so they could watch it um, I don't see any harm in that but um, it's the actual people that produce DVDs and new movies and actually go and sell them to other people now if you've already purchased your copy then you're fine alright um, now this is a new program that I've got it's called Win X DVD Ripper Platinum. This program is absolutely amazing. Um, it's so easy, it's not funny. So what we're going to do first, it has instructions when you open it up. It says DVD disc. Click on the DVD disc button here. Um, choose which format you want. So you just click on any of these buttons. So if you want to change your DVD disc if you want to store it on your computer as an AVI, you press this button, or MP4, MPEG, um, whatever, PSP, oh, far out. Look, I'm just going to do AVI, so we press on AVI, um, and then after that we're going to cl um, click on Start. Now it shows you all the details there, and you can change it if you want to make it better quality, the audio or anything like that. I'll just keep it to the standard um, because I have tested it out and it's very good so that's fine. Um, so what we're going to do is press on disc and I have a disc in my DVD player um, in my computer okay um, you know like a DVD ROM or DVD burner or whatever I've actually put the movie in there and it's found it. So I'm just going to press OK. And we'll just wait a minute just to see if it'll find the disc. And there it has. Um, so obviously this is showing that the movie's there and it's split it all up. Now this is what a DVD looks like. Okay. Um, so the thing is it's automatically ticked the part of the movie that I want. See, I can tell that it's title one. It's an hour and 44 minutes long. Okay? And all that jazz. Now, the thing is, all those other boxes there, if you scroll down, they're all um, extras on a DVD. They might be menus or bits and pieces. They could be just add-ons. There's so many things on a DVD. It's not funny. Um, sometimes there's director's cuts and all sorts of things. Now what you need is just the movie. Okay? So what happens is the intro just comes on, the title shows up and the movie starts playing. So that's the part that you need. Now it's done it for me. I don't have to do anything. Okay? Um, the only thing that I did is I went and I made a folder previously. Um, this is one thing that it won't let you do, is it won't let you edit here. Okay, I can't get rid of that writing. The only way you can change it is to go and browse for a folder to put this into. Now, um, see I went and made a folder in D and I called it Output Win DVD. And then after that, because I chose AVI, it went and put the, uh, the finished movie in an AVI folder. Now if I choose MPEG, it puts it in an MPEG folder. Okay, see the, how it changes? Okay, now, alright, everything's done. All I did was start the program and put the disk in. And, um, and I chose where I want my finished file to go and I chose the format and then all I have to do is press start okay I'm going to do it now that's it there now I already did this um, earlier 
and what I'm going to do, all it did was go to 100%, it finished and um, it says open, see that box there is ticked, open output folder when conversion completed. Well that's what it did, it opened the um, output folder. Okay, now we know that the output folder is here. It's in D, output, whatever. So what I'm going to do is quickly go and open up that folder and show you what's happened. D, um, output, O, 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 where's O? There it is. Okay, so go to output, open up. So we've got an AVI and an MPEG. So let's have a look. So this is the one that I did earlier. This is the one that just started doing just then. And then, okay, unfinished. Now all I have to do, this is the one I prepared earlier. I'm going to click on it. And I'm not sure whether you can see, but there we go. It plays perfect. It's done. And as usual, I can make it into a full screen movie or anything like that. Okay? I'm going to pause it now. Okay, I'm just going to close this program. Okay, I'm going to close that. Now, that's all I wanted to do is show you how easy it was. That is just crazy. And um, it's a new DVD as well, so. Um, like it's brand new, like I only just bought it yesterday, so it's got the latest protection on it and everything. But um, it, obviously, this program just rips through anything. Alright, um, thanks for watching.